I try and go away for like a couple of days and Manchester United decide to tie on the world. We've got the here we go here from Fabrizio Romano. Casemiro is going to become a Manchester United player. No, I'm not getting distracted by this and just ignoring what's happening on Monday, people. That's the focus. Getting the Glazers out of the club. That's the focus. Get rid of the leeches. But it doesn't mean that you can't celebrate the concept of Manchester United. And I want to take a little pause here before I say this sentence, because it's a big one. Manchester United are signing a defensive midfielder. And not only are we signing a defensive midfielder, we've got the here we go here from Fabrizio Romano. We are signing quite literally a top three midfielder in world football. Casemiro was sensational for Real Madrid last season. Not in 2015 or 16 or 17, Last season, he was a fundamental reason why and how they were able to win the Champions League in a year that no one really expected them to. Casemiro, with the here we go there from Fabrizio Romano, it's confirmed. And this is an absolutely top-level signing by Manchester United. I'm going to try and make this as, as, as well-produced as possible. I'm doing this on the fly. So please drop a like on this video. I'm supposed to have a day off. I'm supposed to have a couple of days off here. Look, let me try and go a little bit central here. Ah, here we go. But Casemiro, I tell you what, look, as I say, it frustrates me for the point, and I, I was going to mention this later in the video, but sorry, I'll mention it now. Uh, I'm fr frustrated at the idea that last week that we were chasing Arnautovic and Rabio, and all of a sudden, 150 million, what, uh, what's that around the back of the sofa? Is that 150 million? Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Where was this a couple of weeks ago? Why has it taken two games being lost? and Manchester United fans protesting against the Glazers to force this situation. It reeks of a club that doesn't particularly have a strategy. But when, look, you see this headline here from The Athletic. Fills me with goddamn excitement. We have been such a weak team with a soft underbelly for so long. And we've got a man here. He's a proper bastard. Casemiro is a proper bastard. And there's no other way to describe him. A man there, look who treats recoveries like goals and interceptions like assists. That is music to my ears. We need somebody who's there to protect that defense. Somebody who's there to sit in front of that back four. Somebody to help Maguire, help Varane, help Lindelof, help Martinez, be defenders. Casemiro's your man. Look at this pizza chart. I'm going to do a full scout report on Casemiro, but look at this, man. Red is a defensive Capabilities of Casemiro, uh, green is possession and blue is attacking. Look at the numbers in the red. Let's go down there. We've got ball recoveries 90, to, and this is the percentile compared to all midfielders in that area. Compared, you know, you know what I mean, around European football. 92nd percentile for ball recoveries and interceptions. 92nd percentile for disrupting of opposition moves. 97th percentile for defending intensity. I'm going to pause on that one. Go over there, aerial jewels quantity, 92. Lovely. Defending impact, 44. That seems a bit low, considering how good he is. But my word here, ladies and gentlemen, I, I've just got low battery on the iPhone. I apologize about that if that just affected this. I'm trying my hardest here, but United have decided to do all their transfer activity whilst I've decided to go away for a couple of days. It really is nice of them to do that. But Casemiro, as I say, like if you take... I know from a cynical perspective... It's very easy to look at this and go, he's 30. We're giving him insane wages. This is just the Glazers appeasing the fans while the protests go on and the energy is against the club. And in those three areas, you're correct. But at the same time, and I'll say this full camera, Casemiro is younger than Virgil van Dijk, than Kevin De Bruyne. Then Ilkay Gundogan, then Tony Cruz, then Jordan Henderson, then Kanadu Koulibaly, and I could I could go on here. Footballers don't die at the age of thirty, right? It's just that thirty is where that question mark comes in about the longevity of that career, no doubt. But Casemiro is a man who looks after himself. Casemiro is a man who absolutely can come into this Manchester United squad and bring a transformative effect inside a dressing room which is just full of soft underbellies. I don't know, I don't know what else, how else to describe it politely, because you can't really. And this is the end of McFred.
I, 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 it's, 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 a, it's a term that I'm not particularly a fan of because I think Fred in his own right is a good footballer. And if you're going to sign one person to unlock that, my word, you're going to sign Casemiro. Casemiro and Fred work well together in the French national team. There'll be a lot of people that are frustrated for the fact that Paul Pogba's left and now we sign Casemiro. And I'll be honest, I think that's fair enough. Because if we, if we had signed Casemiro a few years ago, I def you definitely would have seen a different type of Paul Popper inside his Manchester United team. But let's not look at the past. Let's look at what's coming forward. And let's look at Casemiro. And one person I really want to particularly thank at this, partic at this moment in time, let's take a second out here to thank Veronique Rabiot for being the hard-driven agent and mother of Adrian Rabiot, who said no to Manchester United. I want my son to be getting more wages he wanted more wages. We pulled out. And what happens <laughs> a couple of weeks later? Well, not even a couple of weeks later. Like a week later, we go there and we go in for Adrian Rabio. And it's weird, isn't it? That's what I mean. That's where the, the cynic and the skeptic in you comes out. You'd say, look, we've literally gone from being after Marco Arnautovic until the club pulled out of it following a real big backlash from fans and then trying to agree a deal with Adrian Rabio, 15 million. We've gone from like a 7 million deal for for Arnautovic and a 15 million deal for Rabiot to agreeing a 60 million. Let's go back there and look at what Fabrizio Romano said the deal was actually worth. 60 million euros fixed fee plus 10 million in add-ons for Casemiro from agreeing a 15 million deal for, for Rabiot and a 7 million deal for, for Arnautovic before the club pulled out. It's like, as I said, that, that's where the, the cynics and the skeptics have fair ground and justification to look at this through squinted eyes and say, where was that money this whole time? Because I think you're completely right. Where was this money the whole time? Why is it taking this panic? Why is it taking two games? It's almost like United still are acting like a reactive club, not a proactive club. Get ahead of the storm. Don't wait for the storm to consume you and you have to go, shit, my house is on fire. I need to react. That's what United have done here. Eric Ten Hag was speaking about mentality in his pre-match press conference ahead of the game against Liverpool. And this is what he said. He said, it starts with yourself. You follow the rules and principles and work hard. And if you do that, you get confidence. And I tell you what, if this signing doesn't fill you with a bit of confidence, then I don't know what signing will. It's not the glamorous. I mean, I mean, it is a glamorous signing, but... It's not the signing that's going to bring a bucket load of goals to Manchester United. It's not the signing that's going to be winning the headlines at the end of every game. But it's Casemiro. It's somebody, as the Athletic correctly and accurately reports, he's somebody who treats recoveries and, and winning the ball back like goals and assists. And it's that character, it's that mentality that we just have missed out on so much in our club for years. And finally, you will know how much this means to me. How long I've been going on about signing a defensive midfielder. And not only we are doing it, we are going and signing Casemiro. And legitimately, I've got mass I've got egg all over my face because I said there's absolutely no chance that we sign Casemiro. As soon as the reports came out, I said, what are, you, what are we doing to ourselves? It felt a little bit like uh, Martinez and Arsenal's interest in Martinez. I'm like, what are you doing to yourself? That's what I felt with this Casemiro story. And I was completely and utterly wrong. And I'm fine to have egg on my face in this situation. But let me know what you think about this Casemiro deal. It's not just Casemiro going after. As I said, I've decided to take a couple of days away. And Manchester United have seemingly saved the majority of our major transfer activity for the 72 hours that I've decided to get away before going up to Manchester for the game against Liverpool. You bastards. But Anthony, we're going after Anthony. We've put in an £18 million pound euro bid, sorry. That's been rejected. But Anthony now, he's... I mean, look, he's not happy. The club, Ajax put an 80 million euro bid on Anthony. We, we've offered it. And now they're saying no. He's not happy bunny. I'll tell you what, there's definitely legs in this one. And I, it, it could end up being, as I say, let me, re, let me rewind to this. It could end up being that Manchester United have gone from the idea of signing on Altovic and Rabiot for a combined, what, 20, 20, between 20 and 30 million to signing Anthony and Casemiro for a combined between 150 to 160 million euros. And you wonder why United fans get annoyed. This sort of lack of strategy, or it is a strategy, I don't know what the strategy is. You try and sum this all up. But I, for one, am absolutely, I'm blown away by the idea of Casemiro. It's not, it's not sunk in yet. 
it really this definitely this is an immediate reaction i'm going to do a scout report on casemiro in full this hasn't sunk in yet the idea of casemiro coming to manchester united you let me know what you think about it in the comments below make sure you subscribe to united people's tv i'm going to try and do as many of these videos as i can whilst i try and take a couple of days away but what's the fucking point you can't take a couple of days away from united in the transfer window you just can't trust the club out of nowhere casemiro and here we go from fabrizio my mind is my mind is blown